I want to talk about Jexit. Yes. I want to be a little bit more clear and concise on what that movement is because okay. a lot of our followers don't know what Jexit is. Okay. I okay. think it's extremely important. That's one thing. Okay. Two, one thing I always talk about on the show when we're talking about uh, Muslim expansionism is there's this great line. I forget who said it. Maybe it was Nietzsche or something. But he said, if you ever want to know who's in control, look at who you can't make fun of. And right now around the world, they're criticized. Thank you. So you can talk about Jews in Israel all day long, civilian casualties. Nobody's talking about Muslim or Arab expansion. There is one to two billion of them. Like she said, 52 states. Why is that message being missed to MAGA and Jews? I love that. Okay. Okay. So let's start start off with talking about this. If you want to know who's in control, Mm -hmm. Jake, go look at who you can't make fun of. Right. Why am I being shadow banned in silence, losing followers, losing likes? I'm not allowed to comment. I'm not allowed to do this. I'm in jail all the time. Me too. Yeah. But guess what? I wake up smiling every day. We're on the right side of history. I don't give a rat's ass what the other side thinks. I do too. Right. I love it. I My life too. is, oh, Elohim, <laughs> toda. I wake up every day and I say toda. And, you know, like you, I, I was on a reality TV. I had my own matchmaking show. I was on um, Housewives of New Jersey. I mean, could you imagine people actually want to do that show? <laughs> Filming with five people that you would never hang out with on any given day. And you're forced to be with them for five months, eight hours a day. And people are like, but well, why'd you leave? I'm like, uh, hello. Um, <laughs> I, I actually love my life. Yeah. I, I, I don't like to be told who I have to hang out with. And fill, like, like, people worship reality stars. Right? Mm-hmm. They worship reality stars. Think about that. In America, they know more about reality stars than the history of America. Mm-hmm. So when I got off of TV, I was looking for what is going to fulfill me. And that's when I found the best organization, Jugsit. Now, for the people who don't know what Jugsit is, it stands for Jews who have exited the Democrat Party. Yeah, it's excellent. And I was a lifelong Democrat. So was I. So, so was, was I. Yeah. 2016, I voted for a Republican for the first time by the name of Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. And then you know what? The liberal entertainment industry did not like that I was a proud supporter of President Trump. No, they don't like that. And they came at me every which way. And I said, come at me. I don't care. Her too. That's you could do, you can't take away the soul and the passion. You could say horrible things about me. You could say, I don't like her, Ziggy, Squiggy, whatever you want to call me, <laughs> Soggy. They called me Soggy because I cried. They didn't realize I cried every day because I couldn't wait to get the hell out of there. It was just like torture. I'm like, oh, my God, I just want to go to the mall by myself. I just want to, where's my husband? Where are my kids? What am I doing here mm-hmm. with people? You, everybody's just repeating, and you're in an environment where it's, everything is about being toxic and how yeah. do we, yeah. it oh! is Bravo. And people, like, sign up for this? Yeah. And if they found out what the salaries were, that's even more embarrassing. But, yeah, my hair extensions cost more. Mm. But I'm just saying, Jexit was a way for me to really go out there and educate. The liberal Jews are saying, listen, guys, I You're used to be a You're voting for your own yes. end. Your own demise. Right. Yeah. You are funding your own demise. You're funding your grandchildren, your children's demise because you don't like somebody's delivery because the mainstream media has already brainwashed you to it believe is that. that this guy, oh my God, this billionaire playboy, who cares? JFK was a, pl- who ca- I don't care about his delivery, yeah. but he had America first policies. Our mm-hmm. border was secure. That's what they hate. And yeah. They can't stand that he loved America. And mm-hmm. Israel. So now you are not allowed to criticize mm-hmm. anybody, anybody who's really in power. Right. So when people say the Jews are in power, I'm like, what, what are you talking about? You know who's in power? Barack Obama. That's mm-hmm. right. His third term. Valerie He's Jarrett. saying it. Everybody's so scared term. to talk yeah. about yeah. it. And the Muslim Brotherhood. There's a well, connection there. He's in love with the Muslim Brotherhood. He's, He's in love and connected. I mean, look at Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan yeah. Omar, Linda he Sassour. Did all that. Valerie Jarrett. And, and whenever you, you talk about these people and you say. You talk about Jewish students being unsafe on college campuses all yep. across America. Yeah. Obama did that. Yes. Of course he did it. And who signed uh, uh, Title VI to protect Jewish students on campuses? Donald Trump. Donald John Trump. Right. I mean, who, who? Obama is so anti-Semite, it just blows my mind. He's so, like, they hid that picture of him with Farrakhan for his first Years. two ter- terms, right. but it right. leaked out in the third term. Well, wait till you see what's going to come third out in the next term. seven months. Are, are, are you kidding? They always say that, and I mean, it never no, that's happens. That's why I can't tell you that. This is not a conspiracy theory. 
I'm not telling you, I'm not a believer that JFK is going to come out of the shadows. Okay, good. And Princess Diana is going to fly oh, yeah, in on good. a week. I've Listen read to some me. of that shit. The <laughs> next <laughs> seven months will be brutal for the United States of America. Yeah. You couldn't mm-hmm. tell the people, you have to show the people. And the people right now are witnessing. When I said to my friends, don't vote for Biden, why? Because your gas prices is go- uh, your gas price is going to go up. Oh, Siggy, stop it! The borders are going to go be open, and he's going to allow in people who do not love this country. Yeah, it's you have to be vetted. Mm-hmm. I don't open up my door yeah. and say, "Everybody, come in." I want to know who right. are you. You're coming. Oh, I know you from a friend of mine, and you're here for this reason. Oh, you're here to pick up the vacuum. I have to of know course. why you're coming into my front door. Mm-hmm. Right? Who the hell are you to just come into the United States of America and then demand that I'm going to give these people money, gas cards, um, um? They're giving them um, visa cards in New York, everything, and they're asking my ch- my, my kids to leave school so so they could ha- house them there. And yeah. what's happening in America is the American people had 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 to be shown. They had to be shown. You can't tell somebody. You had to be shown. And guess what? That's why I say when people say I don't like Israel, I don't like Jews. There's there. Everyone is going to get a taste of what's coming in the next seven months. I'm sorry, Roseanne. I know okay. it, that, but I am trying so hard to wake people up to that. Everything oh, I've done yeah, but, is to tell people it's coming, it's but coming, that's what it's coming. Done. We've done rallies. We go all over the world. Do you know what me, Karen, and Michelle have done? We are out there educating people on the infiltration from within. We're saying to people, please, Jews, Christians, Christians, please unite with us to save the world. Not to save Israel. Israel saving itself. Right. But what Israel's doing with the radicals, every country is going to have to do. Mm-hmm. Has anybody seen Donald Trump's um, deportation plan? Mm-hmm. It's brilliant. Yeah. He's saying, if you're not in love with America, get out of America. Yeah. If bless. you're here and you're free, free Palestine, you don't even know what Palestine is. What are you freeing them from? You should be saying free Gaza from Hamas. Yes. Yeah, exactly. You guys are all backwards. And I need-